Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As we all know, tomorrow is not a promise. People die every day, right? But it seems like they're getting younger and younger. And in the celebrity world, they are dropping every day. Sometimes three of them in one day. In a whole week, it will be like five of them. So it's getting crazy. So, Brazilian singer Aire Sasaki has died after being electrocuted partway through a live performance. The tragic incident occurred July 13th at the Solar Hotel in the city of Salinopolis after a soaking wet crowd member came on stage and hugged Aire, who was 35 years old. Contact between Sasaki and the fan triggered a nearby cable to jolt, leading to a fatal electric shock. The full extent of the fan's injuries have not been reported, and it remains unclear why they were wet in the first place. Salinopolis police have opened an investigation, and officials for the Solar Hotel say they are cooperating with authorities. In a post on Instagram, the hotel added, We are fully dedicated to providing support to Sasaki family. We reaffirm our commitment to fully cooperating with the competent authorities for the proper clarification of the events. He is survived by his wife of 11 months. Her name is Mariana. 11 months, you guys. Oh my gosh. In an Instagram story, Mariana expressed gratitude for the outpouring of support. I would like to thank you for every message of affection and comfort, for every prayer during this difficult time that we are going through. I haven't been able to read all the messages yet, but as I feel better, I will respond to each one. Thank you. That's what she wrote. That is so heartbreaking. And um, his aunt, Rita Matos, had this to say. We are contacting people who were with him at the moment to understand how everything happened. We will gather all the information in a statement that we will release to the press. Wow, he was only 35 years old. 35 years old. And he was married for 11 months. 11 months and now she's a widow and oh that is sad that is really sad but again tomorrow is not a promise we don't know when it's our time when we're gonna go so to be on stage performing and to be electrocuted like oh my gosh can you imagine hugging someone someone who's wet that caused the cable to jolt and be electrocuted. Like I, well, some reports are saying that he was playing his guitar when he was electrocuted. So I don't know, but still, the point is he still was electrocuted. Whether he was just playing his guitar, whether the wet fan, the wet person, caused the cable to jolt. Maybe he had the guitar in his hand. He was playing the guitar when the fan hugged him. Either way, it's quite sad because he was on stage doing what he loves best, which is singing. Oh, and he was also an architect while he was pursuing a singing career. Again, you never know when it's your time to go. And um, I was thinking, would I want to know if I was going to die? I don't think so. That's scary, right? That's so scary knowing. I mean, some people will know if they're sick, right? If they're sick and they're in the hospital, a lot of times they will know, you know, the the time is, you know. But the ones who just go out and then boom, or, or when they sleep, you know? I don't know. If I had to choose between sleeping, you know, I pass away, in my sleep, or I was somewhere and it, it just happened, or I was sick. I don't, I don't know. The sleep one is the the least painful one, right? Because you go to sleep and you don't wake up, so you don't know anything, right? Or are you out somewhere and you just, something happened and you, you know, it could be because of someone. 
you know, uh, bang bang, you know, or I don't know. All I know is I would want a painless one, which could be the sleep one, right? Like you just happen to pass away in your sleep. That's the less painful one, right? Because you don't know. You just go to sleep and you never wake up. Although it's the least painful one, but it's also kind of like, uh, because you go to sleep hoping to wake up because you have all these plans. So the next day you have, you know, you look forward to the next day and then boom. So you didn't get to say goodbye. So it's kind of, yeah, I think each anyway is bad, right? Because, okay, so let's say you go out and again, you go out, you're not expecting to, you know, that day and you still don't have a, ch- a time to say goodbye because you could be somewhere and something could fall on you. It could be some, you know what I mean? So you still don't get a chance to say goodbye because you didn't see it coming. Right? So that's bad, too. Um, at the hospital, let's say you're sick. Or not even at the hospital. Let's say you're sick. But see, that one, you know, you know, it's coming because the doctor could tell you or you could feel it, you know? And so that one, it's good and bad because that one, you know, is coming. So you have time to say goodbye to people. And then the other side to it, like, you know, it's coming and you can't stop it. So it's like... Like, oh, my God, I, it's, I don't know. I think it's scary. I think all of the above is scary, but I don't know. The sleep thing, I, I, I'll, it's the least painful one. That's why I make sure you go to bed with, you know, prepared and not angry, not upset. And I don't know. I think that's the best scenario, I think. <laughs> what do you guys think? Would, it, would you rather know? you about to go or would you you know i don't know which one would you pick knowing because you're sick or you're out somewhere and something happened or in your sleep if you could choose which one would you choose because i don't know i'm either all of them is scary to me you know so um yeah that's all you guys um Thank you for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.